In the world of pistol sights, there is one name that reigns at the top of many lists, and that would be the Trigicon HDs. And then True Glow decided that we want some of that pie. David vs. Goliath action. The True Glow Tritium Pros they came out with recently. Direct competition for the Trigicon HDs. And here we are. We have them side by side. I had experience with neither of these sites. I've just heard that they are good. And I really liked the concept. So I decided to buy both. And I will do you gentlemen a service that I did not have granted to me. And that is for someone to tell me exactly which one is better, who has both of them side by side. And for those of you that are always in a rush and want to know right now what the hell is the answer, the Trigicon HDs are better. For those of you that want to know why I think that, this video is for you. And it starts right here. So, we have the Trigicon HDs here on the P30. Then we have the True Glow Tritium Pros here on the HK45. Something I'm going to show you, which is the main difference to me between these two sites, is you can see right here the profile of the True Glow Tritium Pro versus the profile on the Trigicon HDs. The Trigicon HD rear sight has a rearward cant. It's kind of slight, but it has a rearward cant. Whereas you can clearly see the True Glows are straight up and down. Now what this does, and it made a huge difference, is when you look at the two sight pictures side by side, there's the Trigicon HDs, and here's the True Glows. And you can even see from this picture right here that the Trigicon HDs are blacker. This makes a very big difference when it comes to sight acquisition. I noticed that when I went to draw on the True Glows, you get all of that glare. See all that glare is going on right now? And then look at the Trigicon in the exact same light it reduces that glare significantly. Now, the sights uh, do have a serration. Uh, there is a very light serration on the back of the True Glows. There is a little bit heavier serration on the back of the Trigicons. Now, it could be a combination of those or simply that rearward cant um, that I was showing you. But the Trigicons have a much clearer sight picture because of it. Uh, it's quicker to acquire and it's clearer to focus on um, because you have this really dark black rear sight. Um, and then with this one you just get that glare. And I mean you can even see from this perfect picture we have going on here that the sheen just kind of blends in with the white front a little bit. And it's just not as clear as that bright yellow dot inside of a darker black rear sight. Um, so that would be the main difference I saw between these two. I mean that really is the only difference between these two. You have a colored dot on this one, you have a white dot on this one. Um, that is not the only uh, deciding factor. Another really great thing about one of these sites that the other one does not have is the True Glows. Now the True Glows, if you look uh, there we go, we have that sight picture right there. And let's see if I can get it to focus on the front sight a little bit. Uh, that front tritium vial is about doubly as bright as the two rear tritium vials. Um, that's a big deal because this sight, in a dark situation, you can very, very easily distinguish between the front sight and the rear sight. Um, just based on how big the tritium vial is. Uh, it's very noticeable under dark conditions. Um, this, the front sight's much brighter. Whereas the Trigicon HDs, they are not very different. Um, they're about the same brightness in a dark situation. So this may not seem like that much of a problem, but if you're in like a very dark room, I mean, 
it's questionable whether or not you can make a shot under those kind of conditions anyway. But um, if you ever did move from a lighter space to a darker space while in a gunfight and you just kind of held it up like that, uh, it's possible that you might confuse these. Uh, you know, there's a lot of confusion going on in a fight and um, that's not the biggest of concerns. It might not be a concern for you. Uh, so you can weight that however you want to weight it, but the front sight, even under very dark conditions, uh, is very distinguishable with the True Glows. But during the day, I find the yellow to pop much more than the white, and I find that the blacker rear sight offers a quicker and crisper sight picture. So there you go. I would stick with the Trigicon HDs. Uh, they are double the money, literally, but... I do think that when it comes to a firearm, especially a carry firearm, money is not of any concern. Um, it's, you don't want to bargain shop when it comes to saving your life. Uh, as you can see here, we have two very amazing pistols. I carry both of them um, in their current configurations. And I have the utmost confidence in both. Um, and I won't be selling these sites, it's just that if I were to buy more in the future, I would stick with the Trigicon HDs because they offer just a little bit more uh, of what I look for in a pistol sight. And um, so that's it, guys. That is my quick comparison and definitive opinion between the two sites. Uh, get one that works for you, but like I said, these Trigicon HDs and their darker sight picture and a little crisper dot, I mean... It's good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right. See you later.